Here is the second continuous distribution that will be introduced in this section and that distribution is the triangular distribution. The triangular distribution is useful when there is no data available and this can occur sometimes in practice. As an example in the summer of 1985 I worked at NASA Langley in uh, Virginia and at the time I was writing a discrete event simulation model of the space station that was to uh, go up in the future and one part of simulating that space station was the assembly of a truss structure up in space and there was no data available on how long it would take to assemble that truss structure. So what I did was I went to one of the NASA engineers that had been there a long long time. He, he actually worked some of the Apollo missions back in the 1960s and I asked him three questions and the first question I asked him if you look at the picture down here was I said what is the most optimistic time to assemble the truss structure in space? And he said if everything went right, I forget the exact time he gave me, but let's just call it four hours. He said if everything goes just right, it would take four hours to assemble that truss structure. And so that defines the minimum of the distribution. It can't be uh, assembled in less than four hours. Then I went out here to the pessimistic parameter and I said if everything goes wrong one thing after another how long could it take to assemble the truss structure and he gave me a pessimistic time of say 12 hours. So now I have the optimistic time of 4 hours, the pessimistic time of 12 hours and then the third question that I asked him is I said what is the most likely amount of time to assemble the truss structures. Some things may go wrong but not everything going wrong and the most likely might be for example six hours. So now with these three parameters, four hours, six hours, and twelve hours, those define the minimum and the mode and the maximum of the triangular distribution. The probability density function for the triangular distribution is f of x is equal to this linear function right here between the minimum and the mode and that is this line and this linear function right here between the population mode and the population maximum so that's this line right here and that defines the triangular distribution. There is an Apple procedure which can be called. It is triangular RV and the parameters A, B, and C represent the minimum the mode and the maximum.